Hi guys, welcome to Linksai YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to work with Terraform Vault. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Terraform Vault and its use cases. So Vault by the Hashicorp is an open source tool for securely storing secret and sensitive data in dynamic cloud environments. It provides strong data encryption, identity-based access, using custom policies and secret uh, listening and revocation as well as a detailed audit log that is recorded at all the times. Vault also features an HTTP API and making it the ideal choice for storing credential in the scattered uh, service oriented deployments such as Kubernetes. Right? So Terraform and Vault are primarily uh, classified as an infrastructure build and secrets management tool respectively. Right? So let's jump to into the lab session and we'll see how it is beneficial for our environment. And this is the official website of terraform.rest.io. Here you can grab more information, how to download, what is the provider. There are a number of methods are there where you can go and the entire documentation information are here, right? So let me go back on my console. Hey guys, this is my uh, Linux terminal and you can see that currently I'm logging in rel 9.1 this is my linux 9.1 machine let's talk about the pre-request of this lab so first of all we need a linux box where the terraform install should be there terraform vault tool and aws credential right so let's start one by one let's install the terraform in let's, let's install the terraform uh, software tool in this linux box and for that one let me move to the google and install it from the official website right so i'm here let me go with the Google. Simply you can type install Terraform. That's it, the first one. Install Terraform. Okay. Now I'll go with the first link. Install Terraform. Let me scroll down. Go with the install Terraform on manual. And go with the Linux process. Here it is. Under the Linux, I'll go with the RHEL machine. This is the RHEL and this is the process you need to update uh, your utils you have to install that package let me copy go with that one local image repository should be pre-configured so i have already configured see it's already there okay now move to the second part copy the repository hashicorp repository using yum hyphen config hyphen manager add repo and in the third part we need to install the terraform so yum install terraform easy right Currently, I'm logging with the root user, so don't require sudo, but I'll go with that one, right? So this is how we can simply install the Terraform in a Linux box, right? The steps are clearly mentioned, so you just follow and go one by one. So once uh, it should successfully install, we can check the help and version. Okay, install successfully, go with the Terraform hyphen hyphen version. So you can see that uh, version is 1.4.6 and Terraform hyphen hyphen help. Okay, command is there. Now, the same manner, let's install uh, Terraform Vault also, right? So, for Terraform Vault, I'll go back again on the Google and say install Terraform Vault this time. Go with the first site, install Vault, and the options are there. So, scroll down, go with the Linux. Currently, I'm working on RHEL, so click on the RHEL steps. Your utils is already there. We need to add the repository. I hope it's work with the older repository, but let me go one more time. It's a hash up. Yep, it's already there. So what we need to do, we need to yum install and see what that's it. Simple. So click and yum install I vault. So later on on this video, I will let you share the both description, uh, both link in the description. You can grab it from there, right? Now uh Vault is there, we can uh, verify the command vault hyphen hyphen version. So we can just confirm, let it be complete first, then I'll show you vault verifying, yep, vault hyphen hyphen version. See, it's installed successfully, right? So now move to the next step, which is make one IAM user with the permission and security credential. So go back on the AWS. So here's the AWS. Okay, guys, you can see that currently I'm on my AWS console and currently I'm logged in Mumbai region. And let me create one IAM user with the permission and security credentials, right? So permission should be easy to full access or you can go with the admin access, choice up to you. I'll go with the easy to full access, that's sufficient for this demonstration purpose. 
so click on the IAM from here open the IAM in new tab and let me make a one demo user for this lab right so it's very easy currently I don't have any uh, extra users here apart of root so let me create an add user here give the name demo user click on the next attach with the policy directly so I select I, I'm not going with administrative access I'll go with the easy to full access okay that's the AWS manage policy I can select that one scroll down and create user so now this is how I have created one user and this user is getting one permission that is easy to full access now click on the security credentials scroll down generate the access key and secret key which is required for the terraform access so click on the command line interface scroll down click above understand the rigs next description say demo user could be anything but it should be meaningful and now I have access key and secret key right so uh, let me write down this my access key and secret key in my notepad file later on I need this one even I have the option I can download it also download the CSV file but I'm not going to do that later on I will remove once my lab is successfully done so access key is there similarly I'll copy the secret key secret key is there perfect and just click on done now say continue now move to the next step which is a launch project folder and launch vault server right so uh, if i go back on the my linux box where is my linux box here it is okay i'm back here so first of all let me create a folder name could be anything i'll go with the project one inside the project one now i'm going to launch first of all vault server using the following command command is vault and then server hyphen dev hyphen dev root token tok en token hyphen id is equal to say demo lab and i'm using the ampersand for the backend purpose right so i will run this program in the backend mode background mode here demo lab is my token id right so press enter boom it's done successfully so now you can see vault server is ready you can write down the token id and the url so we require this token id and url right 127.0.0.182200 and the token and root token is demo lab right so move to the next step which is sign into the vault server and add our credentials so let's go with hit this url whatever the url is here right click and open the link from here directly so i need to log in here and my token is demo lab right so just wait for a couple of seconds it will launch first yep it is there close that one let it be load 127.0.0.182.0 the local port slash ui right Here's the vault. Okay, method is token and I'll give the token ID. So in my case, that is demo lab. Demo lab. Press sign in. I don't want to save it. So I'm logging to my vault server and let's add our credential here. Click on the secret and access keys and put up the interface. So here is the secret part. Let me add one by one my secret key and access key and reason, right? So click on the create secret button here and path for this secret is in my case i create a directory name project one right so p r o j e c t the project one the same name right secret key and access key so how i can get the secret key and access key let me go with my notepad file this is the path this is the variable aws secret key i can copy that one access similarly with the access key give me one second back here let me copy the access key first okay it's paste successfully add one more now the turn is access key okay secret access key copy paste go back with the key here's the key safely copy paste it here add the reason also so currently i'm working on the region ap hyphen south hyphen one let me check yeah everything is good okay scroll down and just 
add it first and just save so finally i saved it my access key my secret access key and my reason now move to the next part where deploy our resources with the vault so i'm going to launch a one ec2 server with the vault so for the time saving purpose i have already copied the, my code and my notepad file let it be copied from there and paste it here so in my project folder let me make a file main.tf that my main.terraform file and here is the entire code of my terraform main.tf file let me copy nicely and paste it here okay let me try to explain right so in the first block currently i have one two eight first block second block third fourth block and the fourth block so first block uh, i have mentioned aws provider with the api version 3.5.8.0 you can go with any one it's not a big deal right and in the second block here i'm using the data source vault underscore generic underscore secret this one this is the identical logical name and where the credential path is given which is aws which is the secret slash project right in my case this is secret as project so we can compare from here secret slash project one right now the provider in the third block uh, provider block i am accessing uh, users credentials like secret key access key and reason uh, from data source which is which is fast from my vault server right and in the final block i am deploying ec2 resources ec2 instance uh, ec2 instance with t2 nano with the tag name is demo server right and this mumbai key is already exist in my uh, ec2 dashboard let me go with the ec2 and go with the key pair here you can see that uh, key name is already exist mumbai right so click on the ec2 dashboard click on the instances currently you can say there is no running instance stop stars is there right now uh, try to initialize and deploy this code with data from init command and then plan command and then apply command right so let me save it quick first of all i need to initialize it so i will go with the data from init command and you can see that in a started and version is 3.58.0 i have already mentioned so it's exact the same uh, api is going to be fetching from the hashicorp official website and let it be complete first then we will go with the terraform plan command right and we'll see what happened when i go with the terraform plan command so just wait let it be complete first finding hashicorp slash aws version matching 3.58.0 latest one yeah terraform has been successfully initialized okay so we can see that ls minus a dot terraform folder is there and under dot terraform dot log dot scl 3.5.8 is already there right okay now what next we will go to the terraform plan command so if i go with the terraform plan command this time let's see what happened terraform plan uh, you will be prompt for see you will be prompt for to enter the vault url right in this case it is now we need to give the vault url uh, url whatever the url is there remember http colon 127.0.0.1 colon colon 8200 so uh, sorry typo miss typo error okay press enter so it's fetching the information from the url and see it's reading and now one plan is going to be added what was the plan plan is uh, ec2 instance my server right so uh, let's do it let's try to apply that one so i'll go with the apply and hyphen hyphen auto approve don't wait for my prompt let it be stopped right again i need to give the path http 127.0.0.1 colon 8200 okay so let it be launched and let's see what happened press enter so it started reading plan one to add zero to change and zero to destroy right so just wait for a couple of second or minute yeah started creating right so if i go back to my aws console and let me refresh soon i will get yeah here it is the demo server right and see the t2 nano is there so this is how you can see that it's currently working with my wall right 
so let me complete first and I'll show you with the terraform state this command we can check the resources from here also it's not no need to you that every time whenever we launch the resources from the terraform I have to go back on the AWS console and verify from here but this is that uh, this is that this demo so I'm doing that we can verify from here terraform state terraform state list command see uh, terraform instance my server is there and my data sources are there right and here it's successfully launched demo server running even you can destroy the same manner like but be remember whenever you go with apply save and destroy it will ask you the prompt for the url right so you give the url so that it will fast the your access key secretly from the vault server http 127.0.0.1 press enter so now start it so guys this is how you can see that it's very very important for us right so guys that's all about this demo i hope these steps help you to set up terraform vault on the link smoothly please do share your valuable feedback and comments on my described link soon i will come up with another new interesting topic until that keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out to my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching guys stay safe and goodbye